morning, Dr. Oh, hi. Good morning. Good hi. morning. My name is Dr. Chris So. And my name is Dr. Ginevra Pillinger. I am a consultant cardiologist. And I'm one of the junior doctors on cardiology. Today, we are both on call, and I would like to show you the busy lifestyle in cardiology. And I would take you through a patient journey of someone who've had a heart attack. Hello, Dr. Pillinger. OK, what's the name of the patient? And can you give me his date of birth, please? OK, any past medical history at all? OK, and what does his ECG look like? What was the time of his cardiac arrest? OK, and can you tell me um, about what time you might be arriving? Could you give Dr Saw a bleep, please? We've yep. got a um, gentleman coming in for a helicopter. Dr Saw is now on his way so that we can go and receive the patient from the helicopter. Hi, Dr Saw. We've got a 75-year-old gentleman coming in on the helicopter. He's had an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest um, after sustaining a heart attack. They had to shock him twice before regaining consciousness and the paramedics report that he's in cardiogenic shock. He's on his way now. What's his estimated time of arrival? Uh, 15 minutes. And have you informed the team? Yeah, I've informed the team and they're preparing the lab now. Oh, great. Dr. Sora and myself are now heading down to the emergency department to receive the patient. How old is he? 73. We suspect you might be having a heart attack and the plan is to fix it. Have you ever had any heart trouble before? And you, have you had any chest pain after that? No. no. Um, you have diabetes or high blood pressure? Yeah. High blood pressure. high blood pressure. Any other medical illness? Obviously, this is a very critical time for the patient, but it's also a really difficult time for the family. So now I'm just going to go and speak to the wife and update her on what's been happening. Hi, Mrs. Slaughter. My name is Dr. Pillinger. I'm one of the cardiology doctors. I'm sorry to have to tell you that your husband has suffered from a heart attack. Um, it's a very critical time that he was rushed here in good time with the emergency services and he's gone straight to our lab where we treat people acutely for a heart attack. I have here a 73 year old patient who presented with an acute myocardial infarction. He's got what we call uh, a STEMI, an ST elevation MI um, and this is considered an emergency. We are planning to take him to the cath lab and fix his coronaries immediately. The plan is to get him in the cath lab as quick as possible and open a blocked coronary. To fix the heart, uh, I will be going through your blood vessel with a tube all the way to your heart. I will go with wires through that tube and that's how I will open up your artery. Are there any questions or anything that you want to ask? Are you happy for us to go ahead with the procedure? Yeah. That's fantastic. So we will go ahead. Dr. Saw is now going to the cath lab to prepare as our patient is introduced to our team. As you can see now, the team are behind me getting this patient ready for his coronary angiogram. This allows us to visualise the vessels in the heart so we can find out where the blockage is and treat it as soon as possible. We have the patient now in the cath lab. We are about to do his procedure. Uh, we will do a quick checklist, but before we do that, I'll introduce the cath lab team. Uh, I'm Chris Saw. I'm the consultant cardiologist. I have here one of the scrub nurses with me. This is Lorraine. I've got the radiographer, Rachel. I have here Louise, and we have ECG physiologist, Faye. I'll first start by gaining access. We're going to use his right wrist. We could use your left wrist or your groin as well. This is the catheter. These are the ones that we would use to take the pictures and do the procedure with. The team have now imaged the arteries of the heart, and they found the blockage that needs to treat. They're now preparing to stent. The patient's blood pressure is dropping rapidly and he is now in cardiogenic shock. The team behind me need to act very quickly to stabilise the patient in order to continue the procedure. Great. And let's give him metaraminal half a milligram IV. Let's get a balloon pump ready. We might have to use it here, but just warm it up. We have a rest. Can you all start CPR quickly? Let's get the pads. Let's attach it to him. One, two, three, seven, five, five. 
The patient has now gone into a cardiac arrest and the team is trying desperately to resuscitate him. Let's do a rhythm check. No pulse. Okay, can you shock, please? Charlie. Shock. Santa, yes, Santa, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shock, please. Charging stand clear. Shocking. Thanks to the quick response of Dr. Saw's team, they have managed to successfully resuscitate the patient. They are now able to continue trying to fix his coronary artery. Despite the team's best efforts, the patient remains unstable. The team will now have to use an artificial pump to keep the patient alive while we continue to try to fix his heart. The score flex instead, two five degrees, perfect. The patient has now been stabilised with the balloon pump. So we've just finished the procedure. Uh, he's currently pain free and hopefully this is um, all that he would need. Uh, from here he'll be transferred back to our coronary care unit where he would be kept for 24 hours and he would spend between 48 to 72 hours in hospital uh, and he should be discharged after that if everything goes well. We're now going to follow Dr. Saw into recovery where he's going to explain to the patient what's happened in the procedure, his ongoing monitoring and his medical management once he leaves hospital. So this patient uh, is now on the coronary care unit. Uh, this is the coronary care unit room. He's being monitored. The nurse is uh, currently doing an ECG for him. He's now pain free, he's stable. His blood pressure and his heart rate, all of it looks great. Um, now that his vessel is open, uh, everything should go great from here. Today this patient is having an echocardiogram done. That is an ultrasound of his heart. We are here to assess to see how much of heart muscle damage he suffered during his heart attack. We do monitor the patient for 24 hours in coronary care unit after having a, a STEMI or an acute heart attack. In this gentleman case, I'm planning to send him home after 72 hours. During this time, he is going to be on uh, several medications which are there to thin his blood and keep the stent open, but also medications to prevent a further heart attack. I'm now about to see Mr. Slaughter. He's our patient who came in with an acute uh, myocardial infarction yesterday. Uh, today is now 24 hours since we've done PCI to him. It's been 24 hours now since you've been in hospital. I have had a look at all your uh, tests that was done. Do you think you know one of the main reason why you had a heart attack? I would say smoking. So you're a smoker and I think uh, looking back at your medical history of all the things that you have, uh, I think in your specific case smoking was the main reason why you perhaps had the heart attack. So my advice to you is stop smoking. It's now been seven months since the patient had his heart attack and he's now come back to see Dr. Saw for routine follow-up appointment. Mr. Slaughter, yes. Mr. Saw is ready for you. Thank you'd you like to follow much. down? Thank you. you take a Mr. Seat Slaughter, then? very good to see oh, you. Take a seat. Much, you. How have you been? I've been very well, thank you very much. As you know, we fixed your heart by putting in a stent to open your vessel. Have you had any chest pain since? No. Do you still smoke? <laughs> no, no, never. Oh, great. So you stopped smoking? I stopped smoking all the time. I'm very pleased to hear. Great. Can I examine you? Yes, you can. Great. Come on. So it's been seven months now since you've had your heart attack. Mm -hmm. From examining you today and looking at all the results, I must tell you that I'm very pleased and satisfied with everything with how you've progressed. Okay, Mrs. Slaughter, right, it much. was certainly a pleasure seeing you. Thank you very much. Great, and um, I hope everything goes well from here. Right, thank you very all right, much. take thank good you care. Much. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm going to leave now, Linda. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.